master scheduler, and tenant replication in Jasper Report Server. Let me start with our new central scheduling UI. You can access it via View, Schedules, and here the super user, tenant admins, or standard users can see, edit, or delete all scheduled jobs according to their permissions. Let me show you an example. I'm going to log in as Jasper admin of one of the organizations available here. And then I'm going to create a schedule for a report. Here's a copy of one of our sample reports. So I'm going to create a new schedule. to start in January next year. And I save it. And I can see it here directly on the schedule for the report. And again, if I go to view schedules, I'm going to have the same view. But now, let's say I log in as a Jasper admin of a different organization. Then I go to the master scheduler. And I cannot see anything here. So. This shows you that the visibility is based on the privileges on each schedule. Let me talk now about tenant replication. This is an improvement for the administration in multi-tenant environments. You can replicate any content you create to applications deployed with multiple organizations. And you can do that through our import-export capabilities. You can do it at the organization tree level or at the server level. So as you can see here, the tenant admins are allowed to do that within their organization and then filter by resource and or asset. So let me show you an example. Let me go to the repository and there is a, a copy of a sample report here. So we're going to export this organization and then import it through to a different organization. And you, you will see that the content will merge between one and the other. So go to export. In this case, I'm just going to export everything. Should only take a minute. OK. And now I'm going to log in as the 10. Jasper admin of the organization one and we will import that export. So again we go to the repository first to check and here there is a different report and then we go to organizations import and choose the export we just created. Here um, it's um, intelligent and it detects there is a conflict that we are trying to import a file from the organization 2 to organization 1 but we know that 
we're okay to do that and we want to merge the content so we say continue import again it should only take uh, a minute at most and um, as we're doing this I should mention that uh, all of these options are, are also available through the command line okay so we can see uh, some warnings here but they're expected and um, so we cannot overwrite these resources because of privileges so we just close this and then we check our repository and as expected now we have a, a second report here let's try to execute it and it worked thanks